making my way downtown, I'm walking fast, Chase is passing, I'm homebound. Na -na 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 Hey guys, so it is March 9th. I hope you guys enjoyed my last few videos and my last vlog. Um, it's Tuesday. I usually start vlogging again on Saturday after I post my previous vlog, but I just needed a few days and I'm still kind of not 100p. Like I've been in a funk the last few days. I've just been really overwhelmed and stressed out with work and I've got some things in the works and happening and time is just happening a lot faster than I remember it to happen. <laughs> So I'm actually about to jump on another work call right fast. But before I got on this call and left the house, I just wanted to pop on and say what it do, baby. I'm about to run to Target after I get off this work call and come back and work out and do some more work. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. I just need to get some energy drinks and some face wash. I think I got to check. Yeah, I just need to do those two things. And I was like, why not just start the vlog here? You guys know I don't really do that much in my vlogs or in my life. Yeah, I don't really. Oh, we have something planned this week. I'm going to go see my big sister in Knoxville. And so I'm going to take her to dinner for her birthday. I think she turns 45. This is old. Oh, yeah, she does turn 45. That's why I'm, that's the big whole shit blame. Yeah, she turns 45. So I'm going up there. I'm going to celebrate her birthday with her, get her all glam and um, take some pics. And then I don't really have anything planned for next week. I'm just trying to think ahead. Next week's my dad's birthday. I am a cancer born to two Pisces with one Pisces sister, a Leo sister, and a Libra brother. Do you see the, ba the battles, trials, and tribulations I went through growing up? Like the emotions. I literally just told my sister this morning that Pis Pisces are toxic, like you guys are horrible. <laughs> I do have a trip coming up. I haven't booked it yet, but I do have a trip coming up that I have to take and it's a good one. There's a reason we're taking the trip. It's literally, my mom was calling it a business trip. It's not a business trip, but just she's calling it. So I completely forgot to take you into Target, forgot to start the vlog on my way out to Target. And then I went in GNC, got some more energy drinks because it's the only way that I can function. And now I'm on my way home. I will say, I don't really leave the house, but for one, I do need to get a new car mount because the one I had is bluesy and it doesn't hold my new phone up because it's, cause it's too heavy. So there's that. So I need to get a new car mount, but I did tell myself I'm gonna leave the house every single day just to get out of the house, like, and just take a break. I sit on my computer from 9 a.m. to like one in the morning every day. And I've noticed that the longer I sit, like switching between both my jobs back and forth, more frustrated I get. And I wanna break down and then I can't focus on anything I can't figure out what I need to do so I am going to start taking more breaks aka leaving the house even if it's just going on a walk or if it's walking around Target Target be too mixy though There'd be too many people in the Target like trying to find stuff that is never gonna come back in stock no time soon like let it die hey y'all so it's Tuesday I think it's March 11th, I think. Maybe it's March 10th, I don't know. I also think I'm, I was in this shirt yesterday, I can't remember. But I had a very rough night, very stressed out. Come to find out, I literally did what I do best and hyped up my stress, got a heat rash on my face, which normally my heat rashes when I'm stressed come on my arms. But it was on my face last night. It started like breaking out everywhere. Like it was a bad situation. So, but I'm fine now. But you guys know I said yesterday I take like, I have to take like intentional breaks every single day. Well, I currently am on an intentional break right now at Krispy Kreme. So I'm about to go in and get some donuts for me and my nephew. And then I have to go back 
to work and now that i know what i'm doing like i'm less stressed about it i can just like pump it out okay got my donuts i was just looking at my car because i parked away from everyone else mainly because i couldn't decide if i wanted to go through the drive through or not she's filthy like a dirty broad like fill the I haven't washed my car in I don't know how long. And I really used to be so good about it and now it's like, for what? <laughs> and I feel like I need to wash it now more than I did when I lived in Louisville because at my old apartment, my car was in a garage. So like the only really time I needed to wash it was when it would get dusty from being in the garage. Now I, don't park in the garage at my parents house i park under a tree at my parents house and it's like sister the amount of a bird on your car is it's disgusting one of my friends is in town the sec tournament is here in nashville this week which i feel like it always is but one of my friends is in town so i hope i get to see her while she's here i'll take you guys along with me if i can so I have to get a new car soon, like this year. My goal is to get it for my birthday in July. And I wanted a very specific car that they don't actually make anymore. They've discontinued this, the dealer has discontinued making this model. And there's other models that I could get that are also equivalently nice, but I don't want that. I want what I want. I found it at like a second party deal a few second party dealers but i found it when i didn't need it or like when i wasn't in the like space to buy it and now that i'm in this space to buy it obviously they're sold because that's just how the world works and so my mom and i have been trying to figure out what else i sh can get should get and would like because i'm very picky if you didn't know. I kind of have an idea of the car that I like. Hey y'all, it's the next day. It's Thursday, March 11th. Today's actually my big sister's birthday. And I know it's later, much, much later in the day. It's about six, almost 6.30. I know the lighting sucks, but we're gonna have to work with it. <laughs> I'm on my way. Probably gonna go meet one of my friends that came in town yesterday. Well, I'm actually meeting her today she works in sports i feel like i said that yesterday but she works in sports and she's in town for the sec tournament and so she invited me to come out to the game and this i was telling my mom this is my first time going to a tournament game in three years like when i was in college dancing i obviously went to acc not sec so i've never been to an sec tournament the sec sec tournament's usually always here in nashville and i actually um was supposed to do my photo shoot got rescheduled i have a really hard time this is like a sidebar but like i have a really hard time putting outfits together like i can buy super cute things but sometimes it is hard for me to put them together to make them look like something so i put this outfit on i like really wanted to be like sporty chic put this outfit on it looked trash but i was like maybe it just looks trash to me and it may look cute to like my best friends because sometimes that happens and so I called my best friend and I was like okay what do you think about this outfit and she was like hell no so I changed right quick I put on a bodysuit oh this is better I put on a bodysuit I'm wearing this oversized like mauvey pink bomber jacket actually you guessed it my mom's and I have on my black bodysuit that like I live in and I actually just bought a chocolate brown one because I live in this one black leggings and my uh Yeezys I don't know which number these are but I'll like I'm sure I'll you'll see it in like an inst my Instagram stories there's a new part of Broadway called fifth and Broadway and it looks like an outdoor like shopping center it kind of reminds you like if you've ever been to like Atlanta and gone like to Atlantic Station or the perimeter like it looks like kind of looks like that we're watching Ole Miss in South Carolina and this is my first sporting event since the Ponderosa began. And my best friend was trying to help me change, but I didn't really want to change. And it was just a lot. So I stepped outside and I was like, huh, I'm in such better mood now because I'm cool. And I called her back and I was like, I'm fine now. And she was like, yeah, you were oh, you were being over the top. I'm really dramatic. No, you, you know. So my best friend, Brielle, that's watching this. I'm sorry. 
hope you love me still so yeah i am going to make my way make my way downtown and that's literally where i'm going is downtown making my way downtown walking fast chase is passing i'm homebound na, 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 and I'll catch up with you guys when I get with her. later i had a great time at the sec tournament and i'm really glad that my friend invited me so shout out to generica for that i am currently cleaning up and folding my room and then i've got some work i need to do a little bit later my family's gone to my little cousin's um basketball tournament and so i'm just here um thankfully it's quiet and i can just hear my own thoughts and kind of just get things together I just wanted to pop on here and say what's up and um just let you guys know that i'm alive and i'm just really busy and really stressed out okay so it has been a whole long time time away days <laughs> since i've been on camera i've just been really stressed out trying to get all the pieces connected together for everything in life i'm trying to do so remember that photo shoot that i said i was going to be doing in my last vlog okay well it's finally happening and i'm on my way downtown right now today it's nasty weather it's gloomy and freezing which is why i have on this teddy so i just have on my champs sweatpants like thick sweatpants an oversized t-shirt a long teddy and some tube socks and some white adidas i don't even know what the style name of these adidas are but my hair is curled i don't want to comb it out until i get there <clears throat> I found my skinnier, my one inch barrel, and that does, and it keeps my hair, keeps my curls so much better than the one and a half inch barrel does because I don't really know why, but it keeps my curls in. I didn't even use dry shampoo. I barely used any hairspray also, and I washed my hair last night. Let me tell you something. If you have, especially when you become an adult and you're booked and busy and you got to do all the time if you have a google calendar with everything in it that shows like when you're busy when you're out of town when you have to work all of that share those with your friends i used to have one of my best friends from in college she's still my best friend but um we met in college on ladybirds but i remember my when she she's a nurse and she used to work at night and i don't <laughs> so I would always want to hang out with her and do things with her but she would always be at work and I didn't know her schedule I just knew she worked three days on three days off but I just never knew specifically what days so what she did was she would send me her schedule for three months like three months at a time she'd send me her schedule and I think her work schedule I think that is so smart because now I'm very conscientious of people's time I'm late to everything like don't get me wrong I'm very late to everything but anyways so I think that's so smart so that you're you're not impeding on their schedule and on their time you're not also wasting your time if like you want to plan something or whatever what have you you know um, what their schedule looks like so speaking of that my friend Lauren that lives here she also just did that for me because I've been asking her to hang out and to see her and I forgot that she just started a grad a graduate program on top of working so kind of forgot about that because I'm no longer in grad school so it's like oh now everyone's out of grad school because when I was in grad school no one was in school like everybody had graduated already 
so now that everyone's going back to school like my other best friend Tyler she's going back to school in the fall and it's just like we were both in grad school together like at the same time but now she's going back to grad school in the fall I'm like yo I need I just need everyone to send me their schedules because that works best for me I can't send you my schedule because nine times out of ten the things that I have on my schedule don't actually get done other than me being at work now I'm gonna always be at work that's one thing I'm gonna always be doing. So someone's gonna say, dang, this girl's got a lot of best friends. And I do. I do have a lot of best friends. And people think, some people think that's weird. Mainly men. Men think that's like guys that, have, that I've ever dated or like talked to, they always think it's so weird that I have multiple best friends. And I'm like, I think it's weird that you don't have any best friends. <laughs> like, I think that is weird. <laughs> like, so you judge me all you want to, but my circle is so solid, like, and they're all from different periods of my life, which is why they're my best friends. Like I've grown, I've been able to endure, go through, overcome, accomplish so many things in my life. And I've met amazing people on the way. And I've also had amazing people be there with me through it all. And I think that that is important. If you don't have people in your life that you can depend on, or that you can always call on or that support you. It's hard being strong for yourself and for others all the time. So if you don't have people in your life that sometimes you can just unravel to, that's hard. Like even when I get a boyfriend or when I get married, get engaged, whatever, what have you, my best friends will still play a role in my life up and it's stuck okay like <laughs> Tuesday, March 23rd. I think that's the right date. Um, this vlog is literally going to be all over the place because I've just been all over the place and it's going to be a little bit longer than two weeks, more like three weeks. Um, just kind of what I've been doing, what I've been up to since I've been taking my break from YouTube. So today I am on my way this morning. Well, first I'm stopping at Starbucks. Um, oh yeah. Also, I took my sewing out. So I look like a bean head which is okay i can say though my hair is very very soft i slick my hair down in sections so i do the first half the back half and then i do the top half today i didn't do or last night i didn't do any parts in my head it's literally just like all slicked back i never wear my hair like this but i wanted to do something different um i'm too much of a bean head for that so it'll, i'll have a part in my head tomorrow i'm going into my co-worker's office she has an office here in Nashville and I'm gonna start working from there sometimes. So that's where I'm going. Chickpea bites and avocado protein box. That sounds hideous. 